imagine having a system that works like Google Map for your knowledge. It tells you exactly where to drop every file, every note, and every idea. When you need it later, it guides you straight back. No guessing, no searching through messy folders. There are two popular ways to organize Para method, P A R A, project area research, and archive. It is for temporary focus and Johnny Decimal method for permanent structure. In this video, we will build Johnny Decimal organization method using my Obsidian starter kit. So, every node gets a clear permanent address and your workflow stays faster with mock index node. If you are watching this on Facebook, you will find the full video on my YouTube channel. And if you are already on YouTube, just click the link below to dive right in. Let's jump in. Johnny Decimal works by dividing your whole life into 10 big buckets 00, 10, 20, and so on. Inside each bucket, you create small number categories. For example, under 00, I have a 01 to 09. That way, every node or file has a permanent address. No guessing, no clutter. When I first saw people putting number in front of folder something like this, I thought, why make it complicated? But after using it for 4 years, I realized the numbers are magic. It does two things. First, it auto arrange your folders. And one more thing, folder gets used to your hand memory. Second, they make everything easy to find no matter how big your system grows. Imagine walking into a grocery store where nothing is labeled. Milk is with snacks, bread is with electronics. Total chaos, right? Now, think of a grocery store that is perfectly organized. There is one aisle, fruits in another, frozen fruits in their section. That's Johnny Decimal. It gives every piece of it information an eye and a shell. You never waste time hunting. Now I will explain how you can organize your digital system using Zone Decimal. At the top level, we divided all of our lives into 10 main categories. Inside each category, we divided it 10 more subcategories. Inside 00 Home, I put everything related to my personal information. For example, about me, health, legal, finance, family, and social, digital life, asset and liabilities, buy and sell, travel and journal. So you get the idea, right? And inside Obsidian Starter Kit, there is a readme documents. If you go to the readme documents, there is a detailed documentation. You can look into how all of those things are organized. So I'm briefly explain everything over here. And the next main category is learning and teaching. Inside learning and teaching, I put everything related to my learning. Every day I'm learning, I put over here. Everything I'm teaching, I put over here. Every new skill I'm actually learning, for example, cooking, fishing, whatever it is, I'm putting inside the skill. And the next main category is work and career. Everything related to my job, my professional documents, for example, CV, LinkedIn information, other stuffs I put over here at 22 professional documents. And whenever I'm hunting job, you know, I have a folder for that. And whenever something is done related to job, I can actually put inside over here, right? And the next main category is project and hobby, you can see. And the project and hobby folder is just for fun. If I'm making something fun or doing any hobby project, I put inside over here. For example, currently I'm working on Dust Press as a hobby project, which is a Obsidian plugin to post blog directly from Obsidian. And the next main category is content and creativity. So this is the folder. I consider it as a internet folder, for example. Why I'm saying this internet folder? Everything related to my social media, whichever I will post publicly, everything related to my blogs, everything related to my videos, I maintain inside this folder because I know only every content inside this folder will go outside, right? So this way I, I can separate my personal documents from the documents which I intend to put in public. And there are few options for future extension from 50, 60, 70. There you can have 
30 subcategories. So this is for you. You can extend according to your requirement. Right. And the next important thing is the knowledge library. This is actually library where I put everything related to my reading books. Whenever I read a book, I annotate the book and I put inside the book notes. And whenever I'm reading a new paper, I put the annotation inside this 82 paper and article. Whenever I'm listening a podcast, if I get any insight, I put inside 83 and people in Thinker, if you follow someone and try to note down about him or her, you can actually put inside 84 people in Thinker. So you have a lot of more, more subcategory lab you can utilize for your work. And finally, archive. If something is not useful for current moment and if I'm thinking to delay it, I put those files or notes inside archive. Archive is just like a backup. You can put anything over here in archive. And the template, template is, you know, if you watched my other videos, I use template almost every videos in this video series to make daily notes, to meeting notes. And then finally, you have master mark, which is the index note for the whole vault. This is the root note. You can trace any note from this master note. So I believe you understand how I actually organized this Obsidian Starter Kit. I adopted it because it removed all the guesswork. Every note or file gets a clear permanent address. That means no clutter, no second guessing, and even years from now, I know exactly where to put something and where to find it. So let me zoom in and show you how this actually works. If I go on a trip, I do not need to think twice. It goes under travel subdirectory 08 travel. If I am preparing a new YouTube videos, it lives under 40 content and creativity blog and videos. If I am reading a new book, my note goes straight to book notes. Let me show you a few notes sample. For example, inside home directory, I have about me and inside that I have a bio note. So the purpose of the bio note is to make my bio consistent throughout different platforms, even for academic, LinkedIn and for my YouTube bios. And over here, I have a quick access info. So these are the information I need every day to fill up different forms, online forms, offline forms. So this helps me copy paste my information directly to the forms and I can do work faster. And similarly, inside legal and finance, I have one note for credit card, investment, finance, legal, all of those things. And the same way inside buy and sell, I am actually maintaining a note which keeps track of all of my purchase and all of the things I'm selling Facebook marketplace. So this is how I keep track of everything happening in my life using this folder structure. Essentially, this decimal folder structure, you will have 100 subcategories. So you can organize anything you want. This way, no matter what comes into my life, a receipt, a note, an idea or a book, it already has a home. I do not waste time deciding where to put it. The number system forces clarity and keeps my vault clean even years later.